Hey guys, what's up? My name is Serge and in today's video, we'll take a look at five ways you can speed up Final Cut Pro. Let's face it, 4K video is here to stay and with a wide availability of 4K capable cameras, shooting 4K is a great way to future-proof your videos. The problem is, if you edit on an older machine, these 4K or even HD clips can really slow down your workflow. There is a few adjustments you can make to get the most out of your machine. Let's take a look at my top 5. The first thing you can do to speed up Final Cut Pro is change the viewer display quality. In the top right hand corner of the viewer, open the view drop down menu and instead of the default setting of better quality, select better performance. This setting will display your video at a reduced resolution and make the playback file smaller. These smaller files will use less of your computer's resources and give you a much better playback performance. When you import your media, you have the option to create optimized media files. This transcodes your video clips into Apple ProRes 422 files, which are much more suitable for editing. These files provide better performance, faster render times and better color quality. The downside of optimized media is these files can get very large and quickly eat up your hard drive space. So if disk space is a concern, check out the next option. Besides giving you the ability to create optimized media when importing your clips, Final Cut Pro also allows you to create proxy media files. This option creates medium quality proxy clips that are half the resolution of your original clips. These proxy files increase editing performance and take up considerably less storage space than optimized media. To edit your project using proxy media, from the view drop down menu, select proxy. After your edit is complete, you can switch back to original or optimized media to export your finished project at full resolution. Having long clips in a connected storyline, like the one I have, that need to be cut down to a shorter clip can also considerably slow down Final Cut Pro. Anytime you make an adjustment to a clip in a storyline, Final Cut Pro has to render the entire storyline. Splitting the connected storyline into smaller clips can really speed up your workflow because now Final Cut Pro only has to render the shorter part instead of the entire storyline. After all these cuts have been made, you can snap these connected storylines together for one continuous clip. This should go without saying, but any other application running on your Mac will compete with Final Cut Pro for memory and CPU usage. To make your Final Cut Pro workflow most efficient, close all unnecessary applications running in the background or in the menu bar. Any one or combination of these adjustments can be just a boost your computer needs to make your editing workflow faster and more efficient. Let me know in the comments below if you're using any one of these or other methods to make Final Cut Pro run more efficiently, especially on older machines. And if you're new here, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos uploaded weekly, so hit the subscribe button so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you back here next week.